The Jackson County Prosecutor's Office is absolutely devastated. A beloved assistant prosecutor, Joellen Engelbart, died from COVID-19 complications over the weekend. She was only 32 and a new mom. KCTV5's Carolina Cruz spoke with those who knew and loved her. She's live outside the Jackson County Prosecutor's Office in Independence where Engelbart worked. Carolina. Ellen, Jo, uh, jo Ellen, she had one of the toughest jobs here in the prosecutor's office. She was an advocate for victims, especially children who were victims of crimes such as sex crimes and abuse. And I'm told by her friends that after years of being an advocate, she was really excited to become a new mom. And they're really devastated that and it's tragic that she won't be able to get to live out that dream. Born in KCK and raised in Raymore, Joellen Engelbart was destined to be a protector as the oldest of three. After graduation, she went to UMKC Law, where she made a lasting impression on her classmates. It was just something that the first time I met her, I knew that we were going to be lifelong friends. Hallie Williams describes her friend and colleague as the biggest personality in the room, wildly intelligent, witty, yet soft and kind, a perfect combination. So I hired her pretty quickly. She landed a job as assistant prosecutor in Jackson County. Joe was, um, Joe was going to stay. Um, she was a, a public servant through and through, and she did it for the right reasons. Married for nearly six years, Joe Ellen and her husband Matt were finishing up a nursery to welcome their first child in the coming months. Especially with her and the baby, she made sure that uh, she was doing everything that she could. Um, you know, we talked about it a lot. It was really scary. Joe Ellen worried about getting sick during the pandemic. She tested positive for COVID-19 last month and was hospitalized days later. I was very, I was very frightened for her. Joellen's dad says they aren't sure how she got it. That. Her asthma was a concern, though. After a C-section delivery last week, Joellen gave birth to baby Ross Matthew, but she died over the weekend from complications of COVID-19. I will do my best to, to tell her story, which I think is... I think it's a really positive one and a really good one. One of Joe Ellen's friends started a GoFundMe account to help out not only her husband, but also baby Ross Matthew. And it's already exceeded that $100,000 goal. And her friend tells me that that's a testament to all of the lives that Joe Ellen touched. Reporting in Independence, I'm Carolina Cruz, KCTV 5 News. It is so heartbreaking and, uh, and our thoughts are with her family, Carolina. All right, thank you.